Let's stop with the campaign smears and tactics to get people to turn against us. Even having my favorite president call us and tell us we need to knock this off. I think it actually needs to be reversed. The president needs to tell Kevin McCarthy that, sir, you do not have the votes and it's time to withdraw. And with that, I yield. Thank you. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> so Lord Boebert took a little jab at Donald Trump after the former president encouraged that the Republican Party vote in favor of Kevin McCarthy becoming the next House Speaker. Uh -huh. Lauren Boebert clearly is not in the group of Kevin McCarthy supporters. And you know she made a reference there to Trump's big lie and election denialism, which I think is hilarious because she enables it all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but what do you make of all of this? I'm really curious, you and I haven't talked about the whole McCarthy debacle yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying it. Like, I didn't, I did not think we'd get to six votes. I figured out, I figured he'd find a way. Mm -hmm. I know that they're coming back later tonight. We'll see how they do. It's still possible that he could win them over. I don't know exactly how. Lauren Boebert's been most vocal of the um, the de de defectors or whatever. Uh, she says she has like three or four things she wants that he, in theory, could give. Uh, I, I don't know what his speakership would be like if he did give it. Like considering all the historic trouble that he's in right now, even becoming a speaker, if he gave one member the ability to call for him to be ousted. They're gonna do that every day, 100%. Constantly. No, that's a crazy, that would be a crazy concession. Now, well, it's it, really fast. Like, you have to have some mechanism, and I don't know exactly what the threshold should be. I don't know if it should be five or 10 or 20 or whatever, but I do know that, like, if he's offering five and you're saying one, that's like dumb. It, because, because it's not about the does, concession. Well, yeah, do, do, do four <laughs> other people agree with you or not? Because if yeah. they don't agree with you, then sure, in that case, you could call for the vote, but it ain't gonna succeed if you can't get four other people. So what's the point? At that point, this is just show, this is showmanship. This no, is just, that, it's personal. No, it is. Per, it's exact. That's exactly right. It is personal. So I did this long explainer about how they just don't like McCarthy. They don't like him. Which they don't I get. trust him. I totally get it. He's not trustworthy. McCarthy tried to straddle, you know, the moderate wing of the Republican Party and the far right wing of the Republican Party, which he helped grow and enable. Yeah. And the thing is, they don't, no one really trusts him, mm -hmm. right? I think the moderate wing knows that he's actually more moderate, uh, but he sucks up to the far right element of the Republican Party for political gain. Uh, but the side of the Republican Party that he sucks up to doesn't trust him because they've seen his Weasley wheeling and dealing in the yeah. past. So honestly, like I couldn't understand it yesterday because I'm like, he keeps giving them the concessions they want with the one exception. He's not gonna allow one member of Congress to <laughs> basically mm -hmm. oust him. And we'll, I, we'll see by tomorrow. Well, we'll see by tomorrow, but if he does agree to that, I mean, he's not gonna be speaker for long if you ask me. Cuz yeah. there's definitely more than five or at least five lawmakers, Republican lawmakers who do want to oust him. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried though about if it isn't him who it ends up being. I mean, <laughs> if it's someone like Steve Scalise, I don't know how much I care about the difference between those two. They're, there is no difference. They're really bad. I I don't want Jim Jordan, obviously. I think I'd rather have Kevin McCarthy at that point. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I did not anticipate weeks ago that she would be such a big part of this. Uh, I guess they need to get attention. She draws attention by being like, Crazy and like you know, like super confident for a reason that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> um, so I get that. But as as bad as this looks for Kevin McCarthy, I I, I put up a TikTok uh, today about for Donald Trump how this was this was already a bad day for him. The Lauren Boebert thing just makes it worse. Mm. The fact that he originally wasn't going to get involved up until literally last night, and then decided, okay, I guess I got to get involved. Okay, go for him, and then he loses three more votes. Oof. Not just loses three more votes. Oof. The endorsement by Trump didn't move a single vote Oof. to Kevin McCarthy oh, it's amongst so a group good. of people oh. who were endorsed by Donald Trump. And that Lauren Boebert, it's not that Lauren Boebert wasn't swayed by him. It's not that mm. she told him on the phone, you should tell Kevin McCarthy to step down. It's that she felt comfortable going before the entire country and the entire party and basically mocking him to his face. 
This is a bad time to be Donald Trump. Oh, I just He's love all of it. doing right now it's at home. It's so good. This is the rhythm of the <laughs> night. The <laughs> night. Oh, yeah. The rhythm of the night. This is the rhythm of my life. My life. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I can't get enough of it. It's just too good. It is. It is great. I don't know about that part of it, but yeah, no, it is. It is great. Um, you know, honestly, I say make them the rhythm of the night. The speaker at this point. I think I mean, you could garner two hundred votes. Yeah, Definitely. just he's he's looking more and more just completely ineffectual. His initial inclination last night to be a coward and not weigh in. You should have gone with it, man. Sometimes being a coward is better than being dead. I mean, he has perfected being a coward. It's amazing that he didn't go in that direction. Yeah. And for those of you who missed his statement, he posted this on Truth Social. Some really good conversations took place last night. <laughs> and it's now time for all of our great Republican House members to vote for Kevin. <laughs> Close the deal, take the victory and watch crazy Nancy Pelosi fly. I love that he's calling Nancy Pelosi crazy as, as he's, he's doing screaming. like this all caps. Oh <laughs> Fly back home to a very broken California, the only speaker in the US history to have lost the house twice. Republicans do not turn a great triumph into a giant and embarrassing defeat. It's time to celebrate, you deserve it. Kevin McCarthy will do a good job and maybe even a great job, just watch. Well, what's crazy is that the conversations were good last night, but we should have known from the language that Kevin McCarthy might be in a little bit of trouble because there is a tier system of conversations for Trump. Those were really good conversations. They weren't yeah. perfect phone calls. <laughs> That's when it's like, you know, it's unimpeachable at that point, except for him, he's impeachable, twice impeachable. But then that's a perfect call. A really good conversation doesn't necessarily make you speaker. The rhythm of the night. <laughs> They're not worried about him. And like, I don't know, no, I'm a great. little bit worried now about what that says going forward. No, don't be worried about it because look, the majority of the country is not on the far right side. And when I say mm -hmm. far right, I mean the right, far right wing of the Republican Party. Yeah. So they're fighting tooth and nail for things that do not bode well for them in general elections. Mm -hmm. Like they're tearing each other apart. And I love it. Yeah, it's fun to watch. Did you do the Did you do the gun scanners thing? No, is that a part of the show? So uh, the, the, everybody thinks that Congress isn't getting anything done because they don't have a speaker, and that's mostly true. But they did get one thing done, mm -hmm. and it was something that once it was done, Lauren Boebert did like a super smug, happy video and said that this, the thing that they did is proof that they're making it the people's house again. Do you know what it was? Allowing guns on they, the house they, floor. They took down the gun detectors. Yeah, well, and that's so important does that, because does that mean that ordinary people who just want to watch, you can, know, they can strap on a Viking helmet and then just walk in with a gun? Um, all throughout the last election, millions of Americans were saying, "I don't feel that the government represents me because they're not packing on the House floor," and now their uh, wishes have been heard. Like they they don't like to your point. Yeah. They have they don't either don't know or don't care what people actually want or need. No, but my favorite thing is that this was something that Lauren Boebert wanted for herself. Like everything they do mm -hmm. is for them. It's all personal, yeah. It's all personal. They don't care about their constituents at all. Maybe Lauren Boebert should reconsider what she advocates for mm -hmm. after she nearly lost her house race, her yeah. reelection race. I mean, but well, and on the no, other no. side too. Keep being who you are, Lauren. Yeah. Keep doing you. Right. I'm looking forward to your next reelection campaign. Yeah. Jesus. I kind of am actually. Me too. Might have to move. Me too. <laughs> Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.